Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for morning's trading session, the uh, 16th of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of European session thus far, you have the FTSE up uh, an impressive 50 points. You have the German DAX higher as well, the French CAC, the FTSE MIB, the IBEX all certainly trading higher. The FTSE MIB up a whopping 1%, CAC up 1%, and the German DAX up 100 points at uh, closing that potential gap at 12,300 on the back of the ECB story. Really, uh, it's another trial balloon. Really, it's uh, uh, ECB uh, sources story again, indicating that Mr. Um, Draghi will not uh, hint or indicate any tapering at the Jackson Hole meeting, which in turn has obviously led to the uh, euro certainly sliding and obviously European equities certainly bouncing on the fact that Mr. Draghi will remain dovish for longer. Again, that's not something that we know as traders. It certainly seems to have been front run. Uh, and uh, interesting uh, concept okay so that's basically what's happening right now uh, in terms of european equities certainly getting a bit higher there asian markets weren't exactly stellar you had a nikkei finishing down the shanghai finish <coughs> excuse me the shanghai finishing down as well the only index that was higher was the hang seng okay in terms of uk we've had uh, your employment numbers coming out stronger than expected which in turn has obviously led to uh, the belief that the uh, the uh, BOE will obviously turn hawkish and therefore that's negative for the FTSE itself. You've had sterling certainly push higher. Let's just bring up sterling here. You can see here sterling bouncing on 1.2840, pushing up to 1.29. It has retraced thus far, so let's see exactly where we stand with regards to that. So keep an eye on, on sterling nevertheless. Okay, so it certainly seems like uh, the um, ECB certainly is uh, a more of a dovish nature and the uh, BOE is more of a hawkish nature, so just, to, just bear that in mind. Okay, so uh, in terms of uh, the economic data for the remainder of the day, uh, let's just bring out other in information that we've had thus far. Foreign direct investment, FDI in China certainly falls overnight, which is negative. You've had uh, GDP numbers from uh, Italy certainly coming in uh, slightly uh, stronger on a year-on-year, -year, but on quarter and quarter basis in line. In terms of Europe, the uh, numbers for GDP certainly coming in line. Mortgage application in the US coming in slightly weaker we've got housing stats coming out from the us uh, crude oil stocks as well that's going to be market moving and the major real uh, obviously catalyst uh, for the day really is the fomc minutes from the uh, the fed uh, again it'll be interesting to see where the us dollar trades and how equities react thereafter as well we have had comments from mr trump overnight obviously him uh, certainly dialing back on his initial stance coming out in more bigoted racist comments indicating that he's supporting the neo-nazis the white supremacists and defending the triple k that certainly isn't going to board well for american politics and therefore that's risk negative given the fact that the chances of him being impeached have just drastically risen okay so again looking for risk off there okay so political uncertainty north korea still remains in the background nothing's been resolved yet okay uh, although the uh, tensions certainly seem to have calmed down and focus certainly seems to have shifted towards uh, racism, bigotry domestically at home with Charlottesville. Okay, so that's where we stand. The FOMC minutes will dictate. Let's see exactly where we are in terms of the technical picture. The German DAX, you can see here on the 60 minute chart, we've actually gone and closed that gap now on the back of the ECB story. Certainly seems like everybody was front running the story from here. Okay, from my perspective, that's what it certainly sounds like and certainly looks like and explains the actual stellar rally that we've seen thus far. Now, that certainly seems to have been baked in given the fact that you have this diagonal trend line. Uh, you have a bearish channel that's certainly in play you have horizontal resistance up here as well so bear that in mind okay so you're looking at a cap of around 12 320 and therefore looking for resistance thereafter so german dax certainly into resistance moving on to the french cac you'll see that you could certainly are uh, experiencing turbulence here around the 5 200 level you still have unfilled gap above which is seen around the 5 to 10 or 5 to 20 so watch out for that gap to potentially be filled having said that you've left multiple gaps below as well so just bear that in mind Daily chart, you are now into resistance. You can certainly see gap fill on the daily chart is around the 5200, and therefore it co coincides with the diagonal trend line, and therefore you are looking for resistance on the French CAC. Okay. In terms of the SP, we'll move on to that in a second. Let's quickly go to the FTSE, just call the FTSE 100. From my perspective, like I said before, uh, we are looking at resistance and turbulence. You have retraced now up to fulfill almost 51% or 61% and therefore looking for a move lower 60 minute chart you are now approaching that 75% resistance again with the um, likes of uh, 
obviously of horizontal resistance here as well previous horizontal resistance also with the likes of uh, the uh, uh, Mr. Trump and his negative comments with regards to Amazon, his racist comments, uh, racist supporting comments as well. Everything from my perspective at this current juncture is indicating resistance is looking at risk off. So again, FTSE 100, 60 minute chart into resistance, as you can see, horizontal daily chart, uh, the fib retracement again into resistance. And the 10 minute chart, from my perspective, certainly needs to retrace and pull back now, back down to this 7400. We have an unfilled gap at 7380 and an unfilled gap that's been left behind at 7350. So Looking for a sharp retrace on the FTSE, uh, which in turn obviously will trigger a sell-off, or oh, well, certainly will be led by the sell-off in US equities. Okay, so I think that's a, a summation. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs, and certainly take advantage of the uh, bonus. Goodbye.